It's a, it's a dynamic study if you want to follow that progressive revelation of the Holy Spirit in this specific promise. But this dynamic promise of the Father, I'm going to give my spirit. I want to pour out my spirit. I'm not going to hide from you anymore. On that day, everybody's getting it. It's not just going to be just this person. Everybody going to get him. He going to wreck you. He going to, it's this progressive, he's going to be a comforter, a guy he's going to reveal. He's going to convict. He's going to do amazing things. It's better that I go. Well, I'm evil. Why would he? You give good gifts to your children? Isn't he much better than you? And he's going to give you the good gift of his spirit. The progressive revelation of this promise of the Father is, is at this point, they're waiting back to the disciples in the upper room. They're waiting for this, this promise, is drawing to this, this, this climactic revelation. Because Jesus, again, he instructed his disciples in Acts chapter 1 and verse 4 and 5. He tells them, while staying with them, he ordered them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for this promise, the promise of the Father. Which he said, you heard from me. John baptized you with water. You'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. Hallelujah. Then we see the fulfillment at Pentecost. 